Good morning, everybody. Holy shit. It has been a crazy time since the last time I've uploaded. It's been a while, and I know that, and <laughs> it's kind of a long story, but basically, if you know anything about the TikTok trend, the Kia boys, I own a Hyundai, and it was a newer Hyundai, and so my car got stolen right out of my parking lot. They just found it. I had to jump through a bunch of hoops to get it towed, taken to a shop, get the repairs done. So they're working on it right now. And right now I have this shitty little Mitsubishi Mirage. It's like basically a smart car. If you know anything about this car, it's like, it's tiny. And I'm 6'2 and this thing is tiny. I have been dealing with a lot of stuff in the background, just basically trying to get my car back, trying to get the payments done on it, all the repairs. And it's been, uh, it's been quite a headache, along with just trying to get work done, trying to hit the gym. It's supposed to be the slow time of the year for the moving business, but we've, I mean, end of the month hits, you never know. So we've been pretty busy every single day for the last couple of weeks. And it's just been hard for me to take some time and sit down and watch, or watch YouTube videos, make YouTube videos. So I'm back today, finally. We're gonna talk about the gear cream. Um, we're gonna talk about how the cycle is going, strength progressions. We're about, we're a little over halfway, I believe, in the cycle. Wow, so week six is actually starting tomorrow. So I'll be starting the gear cream tomorrow. But before I get into anything of significance in the video, I want you to pre-like this video, leave a comment for the algorithm if you feel like it, hit subscribe because I'm gonna be doing these videos as much as I possibly can. I'm gonna try to start doing these at least once a week, maybe twice a week. We'll kind of see how things go. I'm also starting another business on the side, so time is kind of of the essence here, but we'll see. So I've been taking the Osterine every single day. And if you don't know, it's the Cameo brand. It's never led me astray. Also taking my knack once in the morning and then once at night. Uh, I'm taking my vitamins. Also got this Gorilla Mode Nitric, except on leg day because the back pumps are just not worth it. I'd like to be able to walk out of the gym and not feel like I need a fucking wheelchair. Other than that, we've got the gear cream, which I will be starting tomorrow. And I'm gonna be starting with one pump in the morning and one pump at night. And I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. So we'll see how things go. We're gonna start off slow for the first three days. We'll do two pumps a day. And then if all goes well, we'll bump it up to four. And then if we're still doing good, we'll bump it up to six. I'm pretty excited. I've never done anything like this, any kind of like topical enhancement cream. Uh, I've never even taken dick pills. We'll see what happens. I am also gaining weight. I think when I started this cycle, I was like 165 and I am currently 175. I will put my stats up on the screen here so you can check out exactly what my weight was when I started and what my weight is this morning. And so I'm at about 14 to 15% body fat right now, which is fine. I mean, and that's really all you can expect from a scale like the one that I have. I don't really expect it to be super accurate. I'll take whatever I can get. It's not gonna be super medically accurate, but that's fine. I just wanna get kind of a ballpark, figure out exactly or somewhat where I am in terms of stats. But the most important thing is I've gained 10 pounds in the last five weeks, I'll say. Nah, about six weeks, because the first picture that I took that I showed you on screen was from October 16th, and I didn't have any weights until November 6th. And by then I was already starting my bulking diet. A good baseline for me would be that 165.9 or whatever it was. And now I'm at like 175, so that's, 10 pounds. I put on 10 pounds, man. That's fucking crazy. I've never put on that much weight that fast, but I've also never done like a serious bulk like this. So this is pretty exciting. My lifts are going up like crazy, like every single time I go in, like adding 10 pounds or 20 pounds to the bar every week. <laughs> and it just does not seem to be slowing down whatsoever. I am very focused on my form because I noticed that my joints definitely are not as strong as my muscles. So I'm taking things very carefully, um, you know, slow eccentrics. Um, I'm not doing explosive shit. I started doing heavy weighted pull-ups. You know, last time I did weighted pull-ups, I was about 160 pounds doing two plates, which was 90 pounds. And I just tried it yesterday again, and I'm 15 pounds heavier, and I'm still doing the same amount of reps with the same amount of weight attached to me 
and it's insane. Like I can still rep out two plates. My form is not the greatest, but it's something that I'm working on going forward. I might have to drop the weight a little bit, which is fine. You know, maybe I'll just do like a plate and a half, but I really just don't want to snap my shit up. My deadlifts are going up like crazy. My squats are going up like crazy. And at the end of all of this, I'll put up my stats for everything. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, tick the bell so you don't miss that episode because I'm gonna be going over what my lifts were when I started and then what my lifts are at the end of all of this. So you guys can see how my lifts started, how they ended, and you'll get to see my blood work from start to finish, even through the PCT. And I'll be giving you reviews on the gear cream. I'll go do a deep dive on that and let you guys know what I like, what I dislike, and what I'll have to take for my PCT because I'll be using SARMs and pro hormones. I don't know if there's too much to say about that. We're kind of like in a midpoint where the gains are still coming consistently, no injuries yet. Oh, I am back on my six day a week split. I could only do the four day a week for like, not even a week. I think I did like two days of it and I was like, fuck this. I don't like doing the medium, you know, moderate volume, full body shit four times a week and then like switching the intensity. Dude, I would rather just, while I have the time, you know, I'm taking taurine, I'm stretching, I'm doing my hangs every day, you know, hanging from a bar. My joints feel good. My left shoulder is kind of stiff, but that's kind of, that always happens when I get on Osterine. Like any injuries that I have will heal super fast. And then any like injuries that have healed in the past will start to kind of dry out. Like my shoulder just kind of like, always kind of feels a little stiff, but there's no pain, which is good. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. You know, I got arm day today, arms and shoulders day today. I'm excited about that. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, if there's something that you'd like to see specifically from me, be sure to leave it in the comments. I will look at all of my comments. I'm checking every day. And by the way, we're almost at 100 subscribers. We're at 98 right now. So if you have been watching this channel and you're not subscribed, just hit that button. Let's get to 100. I've never had a YouTube channel that I'm active on get 100 subscribers that wasn't just like Halo montages from like, early 2000s so if you like what you're seeing do me the favor and i'll continue to deliver this good content to you guys and we can all hopefully learn something from my adventure together and if you don't like what's going on you don't have to follow my journey okay it's your body it's your life you can do whatever the fuck you want like the hodge twins say Let's do whatever the fuck you want to do so that's it for now anyway. I also just wanna say, I think it's crazy how I've been able to put on 10 pounds of body weight, whether that's water weight, muscle, fat, whatever, in just the first six weeks of doing this cycle. Cause I'm taking 25 milligrams a day when I think my last cycle I was taking 15 and I was only able to gain like eight pounds by the end of the eight weeks. And that was doing like a main gaining lean bulk type of shit. And I was only going to the gym three days a week. It's crazy how I'm only in week six and I've already made 10 pounds of progress. I'm not exactly as lean as I usually am. This is like the first bulk I've ever really done. So it's just really exciting to see the numbers go up on the scale, see the numbers go up in the gym and just know that I'm making progress and feel good about it every day. Now I'm not promoting you guys go out and do a bunch of drugs. I'm just saying it's exciting for me because I've never really had this experience except for like the first couple of months that I've been in the gym. Um, I used to do all that keno body shit, you know, reverse pyramid training and that stuff. If you're doing that right now and you like it, cool, but it does not work for me. I was just skinny as hell for a long time. It's really hard to do progressive overload when your only heavy set is like, you can't just do like, if you wanna do strength and hypertrophy, cool, but it's really hard to do both at the same time. So nowadays I'm really just focused on getting bigger. I really don't care about getting stronger. I know I'm strong. Um, I'm stronger than I look and that's totally fine with me. I just wanna be able to show it on the outside. So yes, it's vain. Yes, it's uh, superficial, but I just think it looks cool, man. <laughs> so just wanted to say that. Um, if you guys like the video, again, like the video, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.
you better not say shh. Go out there and do whatever the fuck you want